HIV onto my child is always my concern, but I'm taking good care of myself, and so far the baby's fine. No second thoughts about using a sperm bank instead of the old-fashioned way? I'm not sure there's anything old-fashioned about going around asking guys to donate sperm. I mean the old-fashioned conception way, one guy, one girl. You no, know what, just stop. What? <laughs> The words one guy and one girl coming out of your mouth is a joke, okay? You love all women, all shapes and sizes, blondes, brunettes, hey, Robbie, bald. Whatever you think you You're living the dream, and we're just here to accessorize it. And second of I'm all, sorry. you didn't want a family. That's the reason we broke up. So for you to talk about loving conception like it's not a big deal, it's a big deal to me, okay? So for you to stand there and make jokes about it, it's not fair and it's not nice. Thank you very much for the gift, but you don't have to play Uncle Patrick. Act like you're interested. I am interested. Why? We broke up. I am moving on with my life, a life that you wanted no alone, part of. Okay, and I understand. You have friends and everything. And else. friends are all I need. I made a decision to have this baby without its father's knowledge or input. My joys, my burdens, my baby. It's for me to deal with. You know, my Aunt Raylene used to predict the sexes of people's kids all the time. Uh, before they were born, I mean. <laughs> okay, I'll bite. How could she tell if it was a boy or a girl? Well, I know the first thing was that you had to remember if the baby was conceived on a sad day or a happy day. <laughs> and then whether you woke up the next morning facing east or west. is whether the first thing you had to eat in the morning was salty or sweet. I know it's different with artificial insemination, which always struck me as a contradiction in terms, but can you remember any of that? Actually, I remember in great detail. So what does it all mean? I forget. <laughs> Wait. You know, I, I'm already buried in stuffed animals, and it's going to be months until I deliver, so maybe this will brighten the day of one of your sick kids in pediatrics. Thanks. See you. Am I allowed to ask? Angie Smith. Sick pregnant woman was brought into the ER? The woman who was refused treatment because she didn't have insurance. Her husband handled the insurance issue when he came out with a bomb strapped to it his chest. It wasn't real. Robin, you can't run around threatening people's lives. His wife could barely stand up. I, I mean, it, their unborn child was in jeopardy. What would you have done in his place? You know what, never mind. That question doesn't apply to you because you would never know what it's like to be in that position. You don't understand what it's like, what that guy is going through locked up, knowing that he had the right to be desperate, and it will continue to fail him. His baby still might die. How do you know all this? Because... 
because Kelly has a friend at County that saw Angie in the waiting room. She was never seen. And my Uncle Mac is working up a case against Joe. So even if by some miracle this baby is born, Joe won't be there to see it. And it's their first child, probably their only child. Tough things happen sometimes, Robin. Could you be any more cold and clinical? I analyze things. It's what I do. That's why I'm a good doctor. Yeah, well, there's more to life than being a good doctor. Cancel my consultations this afternoon, please. No. Hey, you got him in? No. Robin, stop. Stop what? Stop being so hostile and defensive when all I'm trying to do is help. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be nice to me to make up for the fact that you didn't want to have a baby with me. You're trying to make up for the fact that you thought it was a fool to ask my friends to dinner in hopes of a sperm donation. Stop, please. Just know... give me a minute. There's something I want to show you. You just... Please. Charges are still pending on Joe. In the meantime, all he needed was bail money. A lot of it. I convinced Mac that it's hardly a flight risk. But they don't have any insurance. Joe had to close his shop. Yeah, I talked to my friends down at the Speedway. Turns out Joe really does know his car. They were so impressed that they hired him on the spot. Agreed to waive the six-month wait time for health coverage, so... Hey, Doug? Yeah. I am. Um... I don't even know how to thank you. We know it's a girl, and we've been holding off on names, you know, but uh, now we're thinking uh, Patricia, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be honored. Consultation. I have to be a doctor, not a hormonal expectant mother. It's not what this is about, is it? It's not about hormones. Well, I should know. It's my body. It's my baby. Your baby, yes. I know. I got it. <sighs> what you did in there for Joe and Angie, that was... Uh... <laughs> I just think a father should be there. When his baby's born. Just like the father of your baby should be there. It's not just your baby, is it? 